Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering multiple choice terminology, column 1, column 2 and a small um, question from section A. This is from a previous November um, paper 2 life sciences exam. So let us not waste time, let us go through this question paper. Remember guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly hit that subscribe button. It is for free. Um, you don't pay anything. It's more like following someone on Instagram or on TikTok. Please also like this video. Um, share the link with your classmates, schoolmates and your friends. You came across this video for a reason because you want to obviously do well in your test or an exam. Please share the link so that they can also do well in their assessment. All right, so in a multiple choice question, guys, you already know that you are given four possible options. From those four possible options, you need to only choose the most correct one. The other three are not correct. So you need to know which one is correct. And never leave empty spaces, guys. Each question is worth two marks. So that letter B, A, C, or D can give you two marks towards your total mark for the exam. So do not skip it. Whatever letter that you choose, remember you have 25% chance of getting it correct. So even if you feel like you don't know the answer, please just guess and write something down. Do not leave empty spaces. All right, which of the following is a biotic component? Um, remember you guys learn about biotic and abiotic components. So which one is biotech from the different options that you are given? So biotech, obviously, living things. We are talking about living organisms. There's only one correct option, which is animals. One, one, two, the animal organ that pumps the blood to the rest of the body. So the animal organ, the giveaway here is the organ. And what does this organ do? It pumps blood to the rest of the body. Um, that is the heart. This is a um, blood vessel, blood vessel, blood vessel. So they asked for the organ. Okay. Then 113. Um, the death of all individuals of a species in the world is known as. This one is also very easy. That is extinction A. The correct sequence of the energy flow in terms of trophic levels the correct sequence of the energy flow in terms of trophic levels okay let's figure this out together guys remember when we're answering these questions you're not just watching the video guys you have a paper and a pen or a pencil and you're also attempting to answer on your side feel free to pause the video whenever you want so that you can try and answer the questions before i say them out Okay, 114. Um, what we do know in order for us to eliminate the, 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 the incorrect ones, we start with the producers. So the producers should be the first option, right? Then from the producers, you'll have the primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. So the most correct one is B, and that is two marks. 115, a long geological period of a drastic decrease in temperature of the Earth's surface and the atmosphere. What is that? That is A, Ice Age. Uh, 116, variety of life forms that exist on Earth. Um, so that will definitely be C, biodiversity, bio, living, life, diversity, variety, different Question 117 and 118 are based on the diagram below. So this diagram on the x-axis we are seeing millions of years ago and the eras. Then on the y-axis is the number of families. The line, the diagram above represents, what does it represent? Is it a line graph, geological time scale? Is it a pedigree diagram? Or is it, yeah, that one, extension graph? Um, this is obviously geological time scale. So that is B. Ordovician. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 118. In which era um, did the mass extension Cretaceous occur? 
So this is very simple. You can um, go back to the diagram. This is what they are talking about. In which era did it occur? So there it is. Simple stuff. 118. So that is B. That's the era. Okay, that's it. So 16 marks for eight multiple choice questions. Terminology questions. Um, there's seven of them. This is the correct format, or rather not even the correct, this is the format for all life sciences exams that you're going to write from grade 10 up until metric. So you first have the multiple choice questions. There are eight or 10. Then you have terminology questions. Then you have um, column one, column two, then maybe one or two short questions. And section A um, makes up 50 marks. So you need to make sure that you study and you get 50 marks, right? Because it's 50 marks of section A, then section B is 100 marks, okay? Because paper one is 150 and paper two is 150 and the format is the same for both papers. In terminology, guys, please do me a favor and make sure that your spellings are correct. Yes, there is a rule that is going to accommodate you for incorrect spelling, but um, just make sure that your spelling is correct. It makes things easier for the teacher and also for yourself because now if you mess it up and that, um, that error changes the pronunciation of the word, you're going to get it wrong, right? We're going to obviously penalize you for that. So practice the spelling. Okay, one to one, a blood vessel that supplies the heart tissues with oxygen and glucose. That's the coronary artery. Coro nari artery about 250 million years ago all continents were joined to one large continent known as pangea the height of the land above sea level altitude um then part of the earth where living organisms occur and is the global sum of ecosystems, but is the biosphere. Then the position of an area in relation to the sun, that's the aspects. A group of food chains arranged to show how feeding of organisms is connected, that is food web. The process of finding out the ages of rocks and fossils using radioactive elements that will obviously be radiometric dating. Radiometric dating. That's it. Please make sure your spelling is correct, guys, for 1.2. Um, this is a very specific column A, column B, column 1, column 2. I think we refer to it as column 1, column 2 in life sciences. Please follow the instruction, guys. This is not a normal column A, column B question. No. The instruction here is asking you to indicate whether each of the descriptions, so column one consists of description, whether this description applies to, remember, on this side on column two, you are given two options. You need to indicate if this description applies to A only, B only, both A and B, or none. How do you then answer? You write A only, even this word only, guys, that's an instruction. So please do write it down. B only, both A and B or none. Please. To which kingdom does the lion belong? Is it kingdom animalia or kingdom plantae? We know that will be kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae is incorrect. So the correct answer is A only. Please write the word A only the word the, the word only please and your a must be in capital letter okay then it pumps the deoxygenated blood it pumps which type of blood deoxygenated blood from where from the body to the lungs which one is it from the body to the lungs is it the right ventricle is it the left ventricle so that is A, the right ventricle. Remember, deoxygenated blood um, moves through the right side of the heart. And then the left side of the heart 
is um is for oxygenated blood and i don't like the, i don't like what it says here from the body to the lungs it's supposed to say from the heart to the lungs but anyways a only so type of fossil dating uh, wherein sediment is laid down on top of each other and the oldest rock will be below the upper layers um, is it relative dating or radiometric that is relative dating so the correct answer is a only because b is not correct abiotic factors light and temperature both of these are abiotic factors so the answer is both a and b this is us following the, the instructions for this particular one guys if you write a comma b or a dash b a slash b all of these are incorrect let's follow instructions this is how we are supposed to answer this is wrong okay